Yeah, if you're coming to get a coronavirus test at one of these urgent cares, you'll find a white tent outside of the building. This particular location just moved there to the back of the building because of how much heat and the midday sun that we're getting right now. But this is how they'll handle any person with COVID symptoms as the demand for testing continues to rise. This new protocol just went into place yesterday for the foreseeable future. This is how they'll conduct all of their coronavirus testing in hopes of limiting the spread of COVID even more. The tents don't represent an increase in testing capacity, but instead it's a change in their process. The idea is to protect other patients who visit their urgent cares with other needs. This way they don't have to interact or be in the same building with people who are potential care of the virus. I spoke with the lead physician of these facilities and he told me what they're doing now will be more beneficial for all parties involved. So if someone has a sprained ankle or something that is non-respiratory, we are fully capable of seeing them without having to um, cross, you know, paths that may have been um, uh, where patients may have had uh, respiratory symptoms. So the tents actually play a great role in that because we also have somebody outside screening and directing where these patients are going to go. And that way there is no confusion. So we've been very lucky that we've been able to separate um, all of our clinics. Just because you show up to the tent, it doesn't guarantee you'll make it inside. There's screeners waiting for patients who then use their medical judgment to see if there's a reasonable cause for testing. That includes symptoms such as a high fever, trouble with breathing, and a serious cause. So if you're interested in getting a test from one of these urgent care locations, they're open seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. and they take their last patient at 745. Although they handle all of the testing needs and who gets a test, a different company handles the results called LabCorp. According to their website, results should come in two to seven business days after your test. Live from Spokane, Brandon Jones, Crim2 News.